Hello everyone, welcome to your PDA. This is Chandrasekhar, Faculty of Electrical and Electronics Engineering at your PDA. In this video, I am going to discuss one very good concept along with the questions from the subject network analysis for BARC interview and NPCL interview preparation. In network analysis, I am going to take a transient analysis topic. Not the whole topic. Uh, this topic, what I'm going to take up uh, is uh, uh, previously asked. Questions on this topic are previously uh, are previously asked in BRC and NPCL interview preparation. See, there is some difference between BRC and NPCL interview preparation. That is, in BRC, uh, they will dig in deep. They will start with one question. So from there, uh, they will connect the dots with other subjects, and uh, in deep they will go. But uh, NPCL is not like that. NPCL depth is limited, right? So I'm going to uh, take a topic that is. Uh, uh, previously asked and having the and it is having the problem to ask in future also in BRC interview that is transient analysis in transient analysis uh, I'm going to take one particular circuit yes this is a circuit this is a circuit yes this is a circuit there is a switch there is a switch there is some resistance and there is some capacitance and this is the voltage source he given and this switch is closed at it is equal to zero this is R this is C and this switch voltage is so generally if uh, if DC voltage step input is given everyone can do that everyone can analyze it but that fellow given impulse input del of t impulse input del of t and he asked please draw voltage across capacitor and current in this circuit and explain the function of this circuit explain the functioning of this circuit yes Yes, in uh, suppose if it is NPCL, they'll ask you to draw the waveforms and uh, they may ask you how it is and why it is, but uh, in BRC, they will ask each and every detail very clearly, very clearly, right? So I'm covering in the depth of BRC, so NPCL aspirants also will find this is suitable for them. Yes, if you go in depth, that is good for you. Yes, it is good for you, right? Now, see, uh, the switch is closed, it is equal to zero. Uh, directly I won't go for drawing uh, I can say waveforms or directly I go I won't go for mathematical see some students what they do is just by looking at the circuit they convert into frequency domain they convert into frequency domain they get VC of S so they get I of S then again they convert into time domain by applying inverse Laplace they're going to draw the waveforms that is everyone can do that is everyone can do but uh, he will ask you how you are approaching this problem Right, and there is impulse voltage source del of t volts. Del of t volts. Del of t is a special function. What is del of t? Del of t is going to exist only at t is equal to zero, and it is going to be zero after t is equal to zero. Right? It is the signal, or it is the function, or it is the input which is going to exist only at t is equal to zero. Right? We all know that. We all know that the capacitor does not allow sudden change in its current. But here capacitor will allow sudden change in its current because the input is del of t. See, let me see, let me draw the circuits at t is equal to 0 minus 0 and 0 plus, right? At t is equal to 0 minus, if I talk, at t is equal to 0 minus. See, uh, uh, let me take some voltage across capacitor, some initial or Nina to take, Nina to take an initial voltage across the capacitor. He may ask you to take. If he if he asks you to take some initial voltage across capacitor, you have to take, right? If he is asking, you have to take. Otherwise, you leave it. Now, what it is happening here is at t is equal to zero minus. Yes, this is not closed. Switch is not closed, and there is no initial voltage across capacitor. Even initial voltage is there. There is no closed path. And Vc of 0 minus is equal to 0. Yes, no energy, no energy. Switch is open, switch is not closed. Right? At t is equal to 0, let me draw the circuit. At, at t is equal to 0, at t is equal to 0, exactly. The switch is closed here, the switch is closed here. This is resistance and this is capacitance. And this input voltage is existing at t is equal to 0, this is R, this is C. At t is equal to 0 only it is existing. Right? At t is equal to 0 only it is existing. At t is equal to 0 plus, at t is equal to 0 plus. Right? See, sir, here we are not writing about the voltage across capacitor. I won't. In the last I'll find. First of all, let's do the analysis carefully. At t is equal to 0 plus, yes. At t is equal to 0 plus, yes. Now, here, this is an important point to catch that is t is equal to 0 plus and after that 
this voltage source is short circuited by because the voltage source is absent, no? Voltage source is absent. Why it is absent, sir? The voltage what you given is impulse voltage. Impulse is going to exist as it is del of t, it will exist at t is equal to zero. If it is del of t minus two, it is going to exist at t is equal to two, right? Before at zero, after zero, its value is zero. Voltage source uh, is zero. Mean, voltage is zero means I have to represent this one with uh, voltage that that one with the uh, shock circuit. That's why I represent with shock circuit, right? And the direction of current is this one only. Direction of current is this one only, right? And the voltage across capacitor is uh, Vc of zero plus. Uh, I don't know. I have to find. So this is important. This is important. So here the point is at t is equal to zero minus voltage across capacitor is zero. At t is equal to zero, we have to find. At t is equal to zero plus, also we have to find, right? So here the important point is here the important point is voltage source is existing only at t is equal to zero. After t is equal to zero, the voltage source is represented with a short circuit. After t is equal to zero, after t is equal to zero, any time from zero plus onwards, it is represented with short circuit. Now let's apply mathematics gated expression then. Explain this concept with that expression, then we get the values. Only expressions are not going to work in your interview, especially in BS interview, right? Only expressions are not useful. Now you get the expressions. It is very easy. You can go with the time domain or a frequency domain. I find frequency domain is easy. That is converting into Laplace. Now this del of t Laplace is one. See, uh, one must be very good at the Laplace transforms and inverse Laplace transforms. So this is one by CS. This is R. The current is going to be I of S. It, you should not take more time for converting uh, into Laplace again uh, from Laplace to inverse Laplace. You should not take more time, right? See, if you have good command over your subject, uh, in 30 seconds you can get its current expression and voltage across capacitor expression. Now, what is I of S? Ma? You can apply. This is the advantage of uh, S domain. Uh, this capacitance is also 1 by CS. It is in ohms. R is in ohms. I can apply directly Ohm's law, right? I of S. This is at T is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 right this is at t is equal to 0 because after t is equal to 0 this uh, voltage source is going to be short circuited yes yes at uh, this is at t is equal to 0 only yes before t is equal to 0 voltage source is not there no connection switch switch is not connected after t is equal to 0 voltage source is short circuit right yes i of s is equal to 1 by r plus 1 by c s you get so i of s is equal to R. I don't want I of S. I want a VC. I want a VC of S. VC of S is equal to apply voltage division 1 into 1 by CS by R plus 1 by CS, right? So VC of S is equal to uh, 1 by SCR plus 1. VC of S is equal to take RC common 1 by RC into 1 by S plus 1 by RC. So from this one, VC of T voltage across capacitor is equal to 1 by RC into E power minus T by RC. You see, we got the expression. We got the expression. I want VC of 0 plus 1. VC of 0 plus or VC of 0. VC of 0 or VC of 0 plus. VC of 0 is equal to VC of 0 plus is equal to how much it is? 1 by RC volts. 1 by RC volts. You see, what is the VC of 0 minus? VC of 0 minus is what, ma? 0. VC of 0 minus is 0. We all learned that capacitor does not allow sudden change of voltage across it. But here, sudden change of voltage is allowed. It happened. Voltage across capacitor changes suddenly because this given input is uh, impulse. Impulse is having the capacity to change voltage across capacitor. Suddenly, I have to change current through the inductor. Suddenly, I have to change energy in any energy storage element. Suddenly, impulse is only having that capability, right? So, ideal impulse, particle impulse is different, right? Ideally, right? So, voltage across capacitor, you got it as uh, VC of T. How much it is? 1 by RC into E power minus T by RC. If you see, you see, uh, if you observe this expression, Vc of t is equal to you got it as 1 by rc into e power minus t by rc. If I draw its graph, if I draw its graph, this is t, this is Vc of t, it is decreasing exponentially. At t is equal to 0, it is 1 by rc, it is uh, 1 by rc. From there it is decreasing, you see. So why it is happening? Now you draw the circuit. 
after t is equal to or I, I write like this for all t greater than 0 yes this is a short this is the resistance and this is the capacitance and this is a 1 by rc that voltage is decreasing this way why capacitor is discharging capacitor see capacitor allowed a sudden change of voltage within zero time capacitor charged within zero time capacitor charged right now after t is equal to zero as voltage source is absent the capacitor is discharging capacitor is discharging in fact it is not charging it, it is not charging it is discharging yes capacitor is discharging see uh, we taken in the starting current direction this way we taken starting current direction this way but actually speaking current is flowing this way because, why because capacitor is feeding to resistance capacitance is feeding to resistance right they will ask you see why the current expression you got as negative if you get the current expression if you get the current expression yes you can get the current expression in many ways what is the i of t i of t is equal i is equal to c dv by dt see c into voltage across capacitor into dt so c into uh, what is that dv by dt 1 by rc voltage is 1 by rc into minus 1 by rc into yeah derivative of e power uh, minus x is minus some ax is uh, minus a into same e power e power minus uh, t by rc this uh, cc gone this is a 1 minus 1 by r square c into e power minus t by rc the current is negative we take in this direction but actually current is going this direction you must be in a position to explain that one so he will ask you why current is negative just whether you really understood the basics of network analysis or not will be understood by him if you explain this concept right yes yes or not so capacitor is charging within zero time that is one good thing that is happening in this system so generally you study about uh, a step voltage step voltage with different switches different resistances and different capacitances but here it is impulse and uh, do not start with uh, always uh, uh, this lap uh, laplace or inverse laplace are mathematical first you explain him or to the interviewer uh, physical concepts what it is really happening right so this point uh, uh, the impulse voltage source will exist only at t is equal to zero before t is equal to zero and after t is equal to zero the source is not there not there right that is one of the important point interview will expect from you so here this is a, 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 this is one uh, a special circuit in fact i can say this is one special circuit so uh, conclusions of this circuit are conclusions of this circuit are if you come here yes sir voltage across capacitor is uh, 1 by rc into e or minus t by rc you are getting and the current in the circuit is uh, minus 1 by r square c into e or minus t by e rc so this current is current is like this this is t and this is i of t if you take this is zero before t is equal to zero anyhow current is zero no current Why? because switch is not it's switch itself is not closed and here the current is yes minus 1 by r square c sorry minus 1 by r square c and this way the current is reducing and it is equal to infinity current is also becoming zero so this way you have to draw the graphs you have to draw the graphs and you have to explain about each and every variable he will ask you to draw voltage across resistor or he will, he will ask you to explain voltage across resistor voltage across resistor is very simple that is vr of t is equal to simply r into i of t right just the r into i of t the waveform is going to be same the voltage across resistor and the current the both are going to have in a series circuit the if, uh, this circuit both are going to have uh, same kind of uh, graph right expression is going to have one extra this that is uh, r into right so this way questions will be asked so my point here is uh, if you have some question in the interview, so suppose interviewer asks some question, then you think in a physical point of view, physical concept point of view, not just a mathematical point of view, right? So that is very, very important. See, I told you old capacitor does not allow sudden change of voltage across it. Inductor does not allow sudden change of voltage across it. There a cross question is possible. Why capacitor does not allow sudden change of voltage across it? Why inductor does not allow sudden change of current through it? For that, for that, we have two different ways of explanation. See, why capacitor does not allow sudden change of voltage across it. So, what is the uh, uh, energy of capacitor? EC is equal to half CV square. CVC square. What is energy of inductor? EL is equal to half LI square. Right? So, observe here. Half LI square. Observe here carefully. So, forget about voltage current. Energy will not change suddenly. Yes. 
energy yes energy will not change suddenly this is the rule from physics no energy suppose if a fan is rotating in your room if you switch it off it will take some time for complete stop but because it is already having some kind of energy stored in its outer body right so energy will not change suddenly is a point from physics everyone can understand energy will not change suddenly right change suddenly so if energy is not changing half is constant half is constant see i write like like this suddenly half is constant c is constant energy is going to depend upon voltage here energy is going to depend upon i square if energy is not changing sudden change of energy is not, is not possible therefore sudden change of voltage is also not possible energy of inductor is not changing so current of inductor is also not going to change so that's why voltage of a capacitor current of inductor but uh, capacitor will allow sudden change of current through it right? because capacitor energy is not going to depend upon the current that is flowing through it right uh, voltage across inductor will change suddenly right? because uh, inductor is not inductor uh, energy is not going to depend on the voltage across it right so this is one way of explanation another way is uh, what is a uh, uh, voltage of a capacitor vc of t vc of t is equal to 1 by c integral i of t dt right v equal to 1 by c integral i of t dt sudden means within zero time means uh, zero to zero any function zero to zero is uh, zero except if this bell of t is impulse then only it is a uh, non zero means uh, to have sudden change of voltage across capacitor uh, we must have a current source of impulse or infinite current right impulse current or another way is current through capacitor is equal to c into dvc by dt sudden means within zero time sudden means within zero time means this is going to be zero therefore current is infinite that this way we have to understand if you want voltage across capacitor to change suddenly sudden means within zero time then you must give a current of infinite which is nothing but ideal impulse right in the same way in the same way current through inductor i l of t is equal to 1 by l integral v l of t dt if you want a sudden change of this one sudden means 0 to 0 any function any voltage 0 to 0 is zero but if this v l of t is equal to del of t then only that is non zero means if you want sudden change of current through inductor you must provide impulse voltage you must provide impulse voltage right so this is a physical way of explanation why uh, energy why capacitor does not allow sudden change of voltage across it why inductor does not allow sudden change of current through it this is mathematical way of uh, explanation right so uh, if you understand the concept clearly in many ways you can interpret uh, that concept integer exactly want that one the integer exactly want that one from you he will expect uh, uh, this way of explanation in the interview so here uh, in your PDF, yeah, we will be conducting mock and snap interviews and we will be training uh, for the interview how to think how to approach uh, for a particular problem uh, uh, for all kind of all subjects in electrical and electronics and mechanical and civil and other branches of engineering also so join your hands with your PDF to accelerate your preparation for bar and NPC and interview preparation all the best thank you